Hey, what's up guys? This is Brie Hart and welcome back to my channel or if you are new here, welcome for the first time. Today I'm gonna to be reacting to A-Pink's brand new music video, Dumb Drum, and so many of you guys have requested that I check this out. I've never ever listened to this group before, so I'm super, super excited about this. But before I start, I just wanna remind you guys, subscribe to the channel if not subscribed already, follow me on Instagram, and lastly, I wanna give a huge Thank you to everybody who subscribed to my brand new channel, Caffeine and K-Pop. I really, really appreciate it. For all of you who missed it, I recently announced that I launched a second channel completely dedicated to K-Pop and all K-Pop related things. And I'm super, super excited to be posting more content more frequently on that channel. So if you guys have not checked it out, I have that link down in the description. And also I'm going to be posting an extended version of this reaction video where I go more in depth and do a deeper vocal analysis of what's going on in the group. So if you guys don't want to miss that, please make sure you go and check out that video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to that channel. It means so much to me. And my goal is to get to 5,000 subscribers by the end of the month. I really think we can do it. With that being said, I got my caffeine, got my K-pop. Caffeine K-pop. Let's get into the video. I can already tell you I'm gonna love this. Okay, so right off the bat, I already hear some things that I'm really, really liking vocally. And like I said, I've never ever listened to this group before, so it'd be really, really helpful if you guys could break it down for me. Let me know who is who, what's their whole history, who's a main, who's visual, who's a rapper, all that fun stuff would really, really help me out. But just going off my ears alone and what I'm hearing, I feel like this girl might actually be a main in the group, just because her voice and the way she's sort of stylizing this, it's very, very balanced. Like she has the kind of voice that can be a lead on a track because it's not too harsh, it's not too girly or light. She just has a really, really beautiful tone and it kind of helps ground the song right from the very, very start before anyone else even comes in with any other line. So those are my first thoughts. Let's keep going. <laughs> So that was interesting because the girl that just came in now, she actually is kind of following in the same sort of style as the first girl, but um, she has a little bit of a deeper tone. So it's nice because they're keeping one consistent sort of sound for the track, but not compromising her own unique tone. All right, let's go. So I love how for the pre-chorus, they brought in that lighter timbre with this next girl that came in. It really, really plays to that sort of ethereal vibe that this pre-chorus is sort of going for. And it just kind of makes you feel like you're floating. I feel like when you listen to this, it's kind of being taken away into this beautiful ear candy world. And then for the second girl that came in, I noticed that she amps it up a little bit more. So all those little embellishments are really the thing that are gonna set you up for that big hook that's about to come. So I'm ready to hear it. You guys probably are too, so let's keep going. Oh my gosh, I love this. Do you guys hear those cries? Like, ugh, I love it so, so much. It's definitely like a gimmicky thing that you'll hear in a lot of pop songs. That kind of little flick sound where it's almost like a cry and almost like they're teetering on the pitch. And those are the kinds of things that make these songs stay stuck in your head for literally this entire quarantine. Okay, let's keep going. That room is so cool. Definitely not a vocal critique, but I just wanted to note that those lights, like that chandelier thing, I feel like I wanna have a room like that in my house. Like, can I, can I have that please? And actually while I'm on the topic, I do wanna mention that I really, really love this whole sort of candy colored scene that they've created here. And I just think it's really cool how every time they shift from room to room, you're hit with like another pop of color and just such a beautiful aesthetic. So I just wanted to touch on that really quickly, but let's get back to the video. <laughs> that was so cool. I love that little transition with the blinds. Oh 
Oh my gosh, these falsettos are like killing me. Ah, they're so, so beautiful. It's that kind of falsetto that I always sort of describe as like glass because it has such a beautiful, delicate tone to it that it almost feels like it could just shatter at any moment. And I just love whenever you have a falsetto where it feels like it's like right in your ear and she's definitely doing that. Let's keep going. So oh, that was interesting. I wasn't expecting that little vocal band right there. Little things like that. I just think it's really fun. And I always just love when these groups throw in these creative little melody lines here and there and kind of just change things up. So yeah, that was really cool. Oh my gosh, I love that. Those little ad-libs like that, oh, they just add this sort of sensual element to it. So I, those are just really fun. I love that. Also, I wanted to touch on the girl in the plaid and please guys leave her name down below. Let me know who she is so I don't have to call her the girl in plaid. I noticed that she has a sort of interesting approach with her stylization. I almost hear like an influence of a more um, classical sound. So it makes me wonder if she was actually classically trained, like maybe even an opera or something like that. Definitely curious about her. And if you guys know her vocal history, that'd be really, really interesting for me so leave that down below let me know more about her let's keep going there's that room I love There's something that I'm picking out now that I don't think I noticed the first time around in the hook. I think it was a blonde girl with the ponytail that was singing this part, but she was doing this really, really high belt tone. And it had this little bit of a cry at the end of it. It was just so resonant and it really like cut through the mix. And yeah, that's hard to do. I really, really give her credit for that because it's really high. And I almost wonder if it's sort of like a mixed belt voice just because I don't even know how you get up there with like just pure chest. Okay, gonna get caffeinated. Hold on. Okay, let's keep going. You guys hear that in the background? So it's always fun for me as a vocalist to sort of listen, especially close, for those background vocals that are sometimes buried in the way, way back, but they're just these really fun ad-libs that add to the overall like soundscape. To me, it's sort of like the icing on top of all of the other vocal goodness that's already happening there. Oh my gosh, so dreamy. Okay, there is like too much vocal goodness happening right now. Like I have to, let me, let me think about this for a minute. Okay, first off, this bridge breakdown part, that melody is so dynamic. Everything is always changing. The melody is not predictable. Another thing that's really cool about this is the second girl comes in and she brings that womanly, deeper, darker tone. And I think that's just a really, really pretty contrasting of the first girl's tone. So yeah, just a lot going on vocally. <laughs> such a cool scene. I love these visuals so much. Seriously, doesn't this song just make you want to dance? Like, I can't just sit here and not kind of dance along with it. It's just one of those tracks, like, ugh. And I know I said it already, but it's just so, so stunning visually. This isn't just an ear candy kind of music video, it's also an eye candy music video. I love all these close-up glam shots too. Like, so, so pretty. I just realized I didn't even talk about their outfits. Like how, how did I, I think I was so focused on everything else that was happening that I forgot to mention. I also really, really love their outfits. And I especially love the scenes when they're in that pink room and they're all in sort of those lacy, like floral outfits. I seriously feel like I need to have that in my spring wardrobe. Maybe I can find like a dupe for that or something. All right, let's finish out this video. <laughs> So I hope you guys liked this video. As always, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And also make sure you go and check out my brand new channel, Caffeine K-Pop. I will see you guys over there. Bye.